sweetest one I've seen. Her love a coffee and me. Hers my granny tea. Her the sweetest one I've seen. Her love a coffee and me. Hers my granny tea. My friend granny tea. How you gonna wear your headband? No. <laughs> Wait, look at that. That's cool. Okay, welcome to Mask Monday. Hello, y'all. Welcome back to Mask Monday. <laughs> we are too far apart or something. Here we go. Okay, let's let's just scooch in. I'll scoot to you. How about that? How about the one you want to see me struggle to move? We've been trying to figure out which masks we should use today. We're going to use the sheet mask. But I don't know if I should use this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Let me show you what it is. I'm, I'm going to wash or my face this before one. you do that. Oh, I already did my face. That's to wash it later. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. Okay. So, when I've been reading it, this one has a... This one has a backing on it, and it says, Fill the mask. Wait. Unfold the mask and remove the paper backing. Now, I've never had a mask that had a paper backing on it, so I really want to try this one. But then this one seems like it might actually help me with my bags, you know. They're both very nice, energizing masks, but I want... Oh, it's supposed to make your skin all glowy, but you're already glowy. <laughs> Okay. You sure I'm not pregnant? Which one? You, oh, I hope not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love my grandkids. Which one would you like? Mm. Any, mini, miny, mo. Auto even. Uh, me? Yes. Choose auto even. I'm going to say even because you always have to have even. <laughs> so that was the even one or the odd one? This was the odd one. I kept you the even one. You always have even. Okay. Yes, but you chose it. Okay, so, you so we're going it. with this one. If I can open it. So do I okay. just like take this off? Hang on, I got spotted in my face. Like somebody spit on Remove me. Remove the mask from this packing. Place tightly on face to avoid being eyes and lips. Okay. I don't understand the packing. I've never had one with the packing before. Do you want to switch? You seem kind of edgy. Yes. Oh. Very trippy. Well, where's my washcloth? I put them. Put them on my lap. I put them here so I could have a place to set my stuff. Because we're sitting in the living room today. Ooh. Um, this has a backing on it. It really, really does. So do you want this one or that one? Choose. Yes. No, I'm good with this one. Okay. I just don't know how to open it. Well, I'm going in. Um, I can't get it out. Really? <laughs> I'm all the way in. Okay, we have a lot of questions we're going to be answering today, too. I don't understand the backing part. There's so much. Can I, like, squeeze in the tube? You can do whatever you need to do. Whatever makes you feel better. I'm going to wring mine out just a little bit. There was a lot on it. I'm pretty sure we can just stick it back okay. in the package. Hang on. I'm taking the one. backing off without ever trying. Oh, Good job. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to rip it, though. Okay, just there's... Just keep going. Just keep okay. going. Oh, yeah. See? Two pieces. Okay. Now, let's see if I can get this on me without too much stress. Okay. This is where the backing part was. Oh, my goodness. Just for a key of how bad this mm -hmm. is, like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's all, like, drippy hey. on my fingers. The backing actually helped it stay on there better. Hey. Hey, look, I've got it on my nose. Well, well, now I'm done in my eyes. On. I'm struggling. Well, when you get ready, we'll do the questions. Oh. I was going to do the seaweed today, but I chickened out because I'm still sore from the last time. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys know what this reminds me of? Um, when a lizard sheds its skin. I really need to get one of those little roller things. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at you. Don't look at me. Okay, here we go. Where's my washcloth at? Oh, it's cold. Oh, it smells good. You got mine. I think you're supposed to have this one. <laughs> okay, I gotta bring this a little closer to me because I cannot see people. <coughs> see, I have my own washcloth to cough into. Wow, up close and personal. Well, dang, I want mine up closer. 
Uh-huh. It's too far away. Okay, I don't think it's supposed to be on this far. So she wrote down some would you rather questions she's going to share with me. And then we've got some questions from some viewers on my channel. Some subscribers have asked some questions. That doesn't never want to stay under my nose. Or else my nose is just too big. I don't know. See, it doesn't want to stay in that corner. Yeah, I'm going to do the pill off next week. I'm not sure because I've got a blueberry one too that Janet gave me. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop playing with it. Because it's just going to keep falling. It's that wet. And that corner is going to bother me. Am I supposed to massage it in? Uh -oh. You're supposed to make it as smooth as possible. Wow. Look at her all professional over here. You can't even tell she has it on. Ugh. But I am not this white. I laid the warm rag that your dad brought us. Mm -hmm. On my leg, and now my leg's all wet. <laughs> okay. Oh. He He's so nice. He said, do you want cucumbers for your eyes? And I'm like, no, I'm so good. So, the only part I don't like about the mask is this part. Like, I wish I could just cut this part off. You can. That one lady told me, you can just tear it off, too. Oh. Yeah, see? I'll just fold it off. How's it's that? not coming off. Okay, just fold it to the side. <laughs> and smooth it all down. Now, let's get to our questions before the video goes too long. It took us five minutes to put that on. Mm -hmm. I think we should wait till we get it on next time and then start the video. So, what types of books do you like to read? I really love, like, fiction. Anything to really do with, like, um, werewolves. And I like anything that is horror. You like horror books? Yeah, man. Oh, I do not like horror stories. I've lived too much real life horror. I like, I like all kinds of books, but I like fiction and I like real stories based on real life. I just finished reading one that I got from Life with Patty, from Patty at Life with Patty. She gave me a box of books and I just got done reading a second book that's out of all of that stuff. Oh, what was it about? It was about a duchess who, or she never got to be duchess. They, she got thrown out of the house at a very young age because her brother inherited because she couldn't, you know. It was a really good story. Huh, did Yes, I got my car fixed yesterday. It was a wire. It was just a loose wire that had, it was actually going to catch fire had he not seen it. It was getting really hot. And then... It, when he seen what was going on and it, it had been burnt and stuff, he cut it and cleaned it up and fixed it. And the car runs great. And I'm so glad it was something easy. And I'm so glad and so blessed and grateful that I was able to get it fixed that easy. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. We actually just got a new puppy from a friend of ours. And its name is going to be Miss Strawberry Blossom. And it's cute, and it's small, and it's black, and I can't wait till it grows up, and I can still call it a puppy. Do we have any other pets? Oh, yeah, I guess there's Angel, too. <laughs> oh, yes, we have an elderly cat. An elderly cat that my sister actually adopted off the street, so it has a lot of um, sentimentalness with this family. And, yeah, she's a beautiful, white, I think she's Siamese, isn't she? Or Siamese I don't mix. know. She was adopted from the streets years and years ago. And she was, uh, we're assuming she was abandoned. And the only reason we're saying that is because when she came to us, she acted extremely humane, I guess. She'd already been fixed. Yeah. So I know someone at one time cared for her. We tried to find the owners and... You know, some people pull we cats just kept off her. the street and just fix them, right? Yeah, but this one, I think this one has been I believe for. she had a home before, though. But the new puppy, Strawberry Blossom, is adorable. And I will try to put some pictures in at the end. And in case they're unable to keep that puppy, that puppy will be staying here with me. I will be happy to puppy sit for him. Okay, so my husband is highly allergic to dogs. He gets really itchy and it kind of becomes hard for him to breathe. He's going to be doing um, 
allergy shots, which will have one of two reactions from what I understand. The fish reaction is that it will help him to become less sensitive or cure him of his allergy. And the second reaction is that he will become way more sensitive to it and he will get the worst If he case. becomes more sensitive. Then the dog's going to my then mom. Then the puppy will be staying here with me, that little strawberry blossom. She is so adorable. I don't have that in my pets. So. I will tag a picture in the back of this video. Anyways, the fourth question, and this is still from our viewers, is do you draw or oil paint? I'll let you answer that first. I, I'm not a very good drawer, or I don't draw very good pictures. I do paint. And I have painted a few pictures for a few friends, just mountains or small paintings. I will be right back. Look at my mom until I get back. Where are you going? Oh, wait. That's I, an uh, awkward view of you. Hold on. That's a perfect view. You're fine. <laughs> I'm cutting off your head. Are you cutting off my head? Okay, so okay. I, uh, I'll be right back. I do paint occasionally, especially in the summertime. I'll sit outside and with the grandkids and we will paint together. And my four-year-old granddaughter, I got her started painting when she was two. And she did a paint, she did a craft fair. The year after my daughter passed away, we held a big, huge craft fair. I invited all kinds of vendors to come to my property, set up their booths, and we sold things there. And I encouraged my granddaughter, who was three at the time, this was one year after she passed away, so she was three, to sell her paintings out there. She also made some bird feeders and stuff. She sold every painting she made. She made 12 paintings and she sold them all. So last year we made some and I think she sold about half of them. But I let her make her own designs and stuff. So it's really fun because we can get the canvases at the dollar store. What are you showing off? Oh my gosh. Please don't. Okay, so I don't have my mom's Oh, question. that's one of your daughters. Okay. But I heard you talking about my daughter so I had to bring this one out. This is one my daughter made and my husband ended up really liking it, so to us it looks like a gamer. So we have them. Um, because there's like eye, eye, head, and then the headphone and chin. We have one more question from the viewer. Was I going to answer that question? Or? You can both answer it. I thought that's what no, we were the doing. last question that you just asked about the painting thing. Yeah. Cause you Do you draw? On. Do you draw? She is an artist. Oh my goodness, she's an artist. I'm not very good, but um, if you guys want to see, I will She's go very and, good and very talented. And put a few pictures at the end of this, just so if you guys want to see it, you can. It's not very good. I made um, a new ribbon for my daughter's... The disease my daughter has, she has erythromyalgia. So I made a new ribbon and I'm going to put it on a shirt. Sorry, I'm proud of that one. I thought it came out cool. I made it from her foot. <laughs> okay. The fourth question, and then the final question from our viewers mm -hmm. would be, <clears throat> do my grandchildren live with me full time? Yes. Temporarily. Well, it started out because their roof fell in on... Is that correct? Their yeah. roof collapsed well, in the bedroom yes that the no. child was in. So, what happened was we were staying... And, I mean, they were really good to us up until this point. And we weren't planning on renewing, which I guess is good because they didn't like us afterwards. But, um, sorry, I, I ramble. I like to overshare, Mom. It's who I am. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyways, what happened was, um, the roof started leaking. And it was really bad to the point that there was, like, a big bubble. And it made us really scared because it was coming out of electrical sockets. And we had video and everything of that. So we moved out after trying to contact them and have it serviced. We ended up going to stay in a hotel that night hoping that they would be able to get back to us. They never did, so we ended up moving out. When I came over there to box stuff up, there was roofing all over the floor. Yeah, that the roof, roof could have fallen on a child. And my daughter was <clears> only <throat> one at that point, or maybe two, maybe. So they have been staying here for just over a year. Yeah, just over a year, right? Mm -hmm. They they would have moved out sooner, but then COVID hit, and we all kind of just stayed together because it tells you to stay with, in the group that you're in, not to travel, not to do this and that, and COVID's still here, but, you know, they're probably sick of being here with me. 
So they're going to get out on their own in just a month or two. It's not about being sick of with, of being with you because you have an amazing personality. It's just I don't think your personality and my husband's personality mesh well because he is a smart butt. And you don't like smart butt. Yes, ma'am, I don't. So I think it would be <clears> better <throat> if we had a little bit of space and then I'll just visit you for Mass Mondays and maybe a few times a week. You to know? crap. We have to have one day for crafting. I promise oh, Annabelle. I can leave my craft stuff here. This can be my craft room. I didn't say we could store more items. I've already got a garage full of items of other people's. We'll see what we can, can work I put out. My glasses on with this. I don't know. Can you? It might help hold it up. It might. That's a good idea. What? I can see. So um, yes, my grandchildren are living here with me full time. This hot house that I'm that I that I own. I own this property. Is only a 600 square foot home, so it's very, very small. It was originally a one bedroom home, and I have people sleeping in the hallway, and I have people sleeping in my dining room. I mean, it used to be my front porch, but I closed it off to make a dining room. So I have people living in or sleeping in there, and then I have the only bedroom that's here I've given to my granddaughter to have her play things in. So that's where all the children's toys and stuff are at. And then I had the garage had been converted into a bedroom, so I took that and I used that for my room. And then I had him add on the extra bathroom for us so that I could have my own private bathroom because regularly a bathroom would run you 20 or 30 grand. I was lucky and very, very blessed that I have family that does all that contracting and stuff. And so my bathroom cost me $1,500 total for all of the fixtures and all of the labor and everything. I am blessed. Truly, truly blessed. You want to do these would you rather questions? Yeah, let's do them. Uh -huh. Would you rather know how you're going to die or know when you're going to die? I would rather know how. I would rather know when. Why would you rather know how? I'd want to know if my death was going to be extremely painful. I would want to know why. So that I could spend those last moments with you guys. Doing all the fun things. Make sure I got all my insurance in order. So would you rather go back in time and fix all your mistakes or go to the future and stop new mistakes from happening that you would have made? If you go to the future, you can't really stop the mistakes. I would go to the past and fix any mistakes I had made. I'd go to the future and try and stop myself from being an idiot. Okay. Not gonna ask me why on that. Why? Because my past is what makes me me. And I wouldn't want to change who I am. That's true. I would not want to lose any of the knowledge I have gained from those past mistakes. Would you rather be the worst player on... Or the best team. The best team. Or the best player on the... Worst team. On a good team. On a good team. I'm sorry. I'm not reading these right. So, would you rather be the worst player on the best team or be the best player on a good team? I would rather... I'd rather be the best player on a good team. Yeah. that's. I'd rather be the... Best player on a good team. I wouldn't want to be dragging my team down by being the worst player. Then again, if you're the worst player, you can always re and push yourself to, to be improved. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that was that was confusing. Than I thought. You know, what? I'm not gonna go with worst player. If you have any questions that you want us to answer in a future video, please leave it in the comments. We lo I love reading the comments on either channel. Yes, on either channel. And if you don't know, my daughter has her own channel. Um, my channel is more of a family channel, so me and anyone in the family can mostly post on it. I can post on it. It's called um, Coffee, Trolls, and Dragons. Coffee for me. Trolls for my husband because he is a trolling gamer. And dragons because we all like dragons. And dragons mostly for everyone else. Oh, and my best friend, I also gave him a link so he can post on it, but he's a troll too. Oh, my turn. I got this one. I don't have any luck. This is my favorite question. Would you rather have free McDonald's for life or free vegetables for life? Actually, I'm not making it harder on you. 
Mom, would you rather have free Del Taco for life or free vegetables for life? <laughs> I want to be healthy. And you don't know what kind of chemicals go into those fast food foods. So I'm going to say I would rather have free vegetables for life. Free vegetables? Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm going to say vegetables too, but... What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't throw things at me. Wow. See how she treats me? I'm going to say um, vegetables because your hair is long. I'm going to put my hand under your hair so I don't pull your hair. <laughs> because I love vegetables. I actually love the taste of vegetables. I love asparagus. I love green beans. I don't really care for peas. But I love, I love, 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 love vegetables. Would you rather? This is the last would you rather. Yeah, if you have any would you rather questions, leave them in the comments and we will answer them next week on Mask Monday. Even if they're gross. Would you rather change your name or change your appearance? I'd rather change my appearance and I'm already working on it. Actually. Ditto. Yes, I would rather change my appearance now, but if you would have asked me this 10 years ago, it would have been change my name. Because I never cared for Saria. I can say it a lot better now, but I struggled when I was younger and got teased a lot. So, a lot. <laughs> she was going to be my last child, so I gave her both my mother's name and her father's mother's middle name. Both of the middle names were put into her middle name. I've always loved my middle names, though. You love your middle name, but just so not your first name. I was going to change it to Ethel May instead of Sarah Ethel May. Isn't that pretty? Ethel May. Sarah Ethel May. I personally think I have a very country-like name, if you agree. I'm a country you know, girl. So Leave a comment down below. I'm a country girl at heart, if you didn't know that. I grew up in the country. Okay. I have one question I would like to ask you. Me? No. Oh. I already asked you. I'm going to ask the viewers. Would you rather, if you only had one choice or the other for the rest of your life, would you rather have worms or snails? And you can prepare them any way you'd like. Please leave that in the comments. You know, snails is a delicacy. We have had a debate about this. She said Delicate worms. Leaf. And I said snails wow. because I'm looking at garden worms it's and so thinking punchy. that's gross. I could eat the snail because I could cook it up. It's escargot, right? It's French. It's fancy. It's good. If it's too chewy, put it through a food processor and grind it into your salad. I got three vegetables, remember? Tried to eat clams, or was it mussels? Do you remember? Josh made it. I yes. puked yes. because of the texture. I am, like, big on texture. Anyways, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Are you done? What? We're done. Are we done? We've been on for 15 minutes. Wait, but I like this talking Well, mine should stay me. on, but... I didn't say I was taking it off. I just have nothing else to say on, on the Would You Rathers. We have lots to say. We can just talk. I answered all the questions. I can tickle you. <laughs> Want to share it? <laughs> Woman, I know your tickle spots. <laughs> As you get older, you're not ticklish anymore. Really? 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 Why are you flinching? Why are you flinching? <laughs> okay. So, we've got a lot to do. Yeah, I guess we have a lot to do. Gotta get your daddy's shoes returned to Walmart. Oh, which reminds me. If you, or you, would like to see my dad do a face mask with us next week, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave us a comment if you'd like to. And hit the like button. Let us know that that's what you actually want. We don't want to put him in here if you don't want him in here. But he said he would do it. If we got enough people who wanted him to do it. Okay, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I'm super jelly of my dad's legs because my legs are so flicking hairy. I look like a slob. I shaved my legs last night. Okay. I have smooth legs. They are so, so hairy. And my dad, his legs have always been smooth. And he doesn't shave them. They just, it's in his genetics. They are so smooth. And I'm like, dude. He doesn't grow any hair. Dude, jeans. You got some, like, interesting jeans. That is awesome. This is still very wet. So is mine. I might just stick mine back in the package. I'm going to keep rubbing it into my skin. I want that glowing, radiant look. Actually, I'm going to take mine off. Yours told you. No, mine told me to close my eyes and dream of being a queen. That's what it says on the packaging. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Okay, I'm going to take mine off so I'm going to focus more on me. Okay. Are we done? 
We're taking them off now. Okay. Wait, I want to see you take yours off. Are you going to go bottom or are you going to go top? I'm going to watch you first. Go ahead. Wait, okay. If we're doing it like that, let me go from this feeling and... Okay, there we go. I'm going to go top down this time. Okay. Oh. Am I beautiful? Glowing? Oh, I'm supposed to do this in. I think I'm supposed to do it. Supposed to just pat it in. Well, depends on who you talk to. Some people say pat it. Others, the thing says rub in a circular motion. I guess it's who you talk to. This is really wet. I'm just going to let it soak in. Rub some down on my neck. Yes, you are glowing. How, look at this coloration. Why are oh. you so white? I mean... <laughs> you need to get out into the sunshine and get a little bit of the sun. What? I can't believe you just hit me like that. I'm just saying... Get out into the sun. Okay? I keep you in the sun. Okay, but seriously, you guys have to see how wet this mask was. Before I end, like... Stay safe and healthy. And may God bless you always. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And don't forget, tell someone you love them. Always. What a beautiful puppy. I believe they've decided to name her Strawberry Blossom. Her mother's name is Strawberry, and she's such a beautiful puppy.